45 out of 100 vehicles were presented to the management of the Metro Mass Transit Limited. President Kufuadu said the donation was essential towards meeting the aspirations of the company in expanding its services to other areas of the country. It's all players to work assiduously as we seek to revamp fully the operations of Metro Mass Transport Limited. I want to re-echo what the Minister for Transport has just said and emphasize the need for the adoption of an efficient maintenance culture. The neglect and mishandling of public assets, unfortunately, has eaten into our social fabric, which entailed an enormous drain on national resources. I therefore urge the board and management to take steps to ensure that these buses which I am commissioning today stand the test of time as the managing director himself has promised. It is good to see that Metro Mass Transport Limit, Transit Limited is reclaiming its status as a critical public transportation service provider which serves the Ghanaian people with dedication. Accordingly, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to declare the 45 buses of the Metro Mass Transit Limited duly Commission. Transport Minister Kwekwesiyama was optimistic the donation will address some major issues confronting the transport sector. I wish to appeal to the board, management and staff of Metro Mass Transit Limited, particularly the, the technicians and drivers, to handle these buses with utmost care. This is a huge investment that the government is making. And the only way we can demonstrate that the investment is well had is to ensure that these buses go beyond their useful lifespan for the people of this country to have the full benefit of the cost that we are putting in in acquiring these buses. I urge the travelers to observe road traffic regulations and take necessary precautions to achieve highest level of safety in the operation of these buses to boost public confidence in your services. His Excellency, the advantage of the road transport comes at a high cost in terms of road traffic crashes and these are turned down challenges. It is a major public health and developmental issue. The injuries and deaths are not only a serious public health concern, but they are also threatening to undo the country's developmental success. Sadly, human error, Mr. President, account for about 90% of these crashes. I therefore want to take this opportunity to urge all motorists, particularly MMTL bus drivers, to be cautious on the road in order to help reduce the carnage on our roads.